Welcome to my latest creation. This is an analog FM synthesizer fart box. <laughs> um, yeah, this thing kind of spawned the idea of me experimenting with the 40106, the um, hex inverter. It's a very popular chip amongst the um, synth DIY enthusiasts and uh, it's one of my favorite chips to build uh, drones, noise boxes etc with uh, though 
um, honestly you can do um, pretty musical things with the chip and well um, this creation uh, originated from a new thing I found out about the uh, 40106 um, which is that you can do very interesting frequency modulation uh, things with the 40106 and you can do this with salt hoots now if there's one thing that I love to combine it's salt hoots and frequency modulation just my favorite gnarly heavy punchy sounds I get from uh, combining those two things so I was like well I have to make this <laughs> so essentially what it is it's a some sort of three operator FM synth um, uh, per voice that is it has two voices one on the um, stereo left channel and one on the stereo right channel that's why there's a stereo plug in here um, both voices are exactly the same uh, again they use uh, some sort of three operator uh, the original idea was to make a two operator uh, we have one carrier right here and we have one modulator right here and um, both these are voltage controlled oscillators uh, using the 40106 and uh, the idea was to have the of course the uh, modulator to frequency modulate the carrier oscillator and thus create an FM synth. However things became a little bit different. A third oscillator came into play which acted as the well as the frequency modulator uh, really it's some sort of weird signal mixing voltage controlled oscillator that kind of acts as the, um, the third operator so in a way you could say these are both modulators and the third oscillator acts as a carrier of sorts um, not sure how accurate that explanation is uh, it's, it's a weird circuit um, I'll include a uh, download in the description below so you can uh, take a look at it for yourself and hopefully create something cool uh, yourself with it um, so now let's take a closer look at this thing um, so yeah like I said we have a carrier and a modulator these two knobs control the frequencies of each um, voltage controlled oscillator um, this switch right here synchronizes the modulators on both voices so um, it's so like uh, in the uh, demo area in this video at like this kick sound going or this very rhythmic sound and then sometimes it's nice to uh, have both voices synchronized with each other so they both um, uh, have the kick at the same timing so that's why I added this switch and of course when it's off uh, both uh, voices even though they have the same frequency controls and the same control voltages um, they tend to drift a lot. Uh, the 40106 um, voltage controlled oscillator circuit is a neat little circuit. It's extremely sim simple, it's ridiculously simple but of course this also comes with the disadvantage that it uh, drifts easily doesn't have perfect tracking. You can get very close. Um, you can get pretty good tracking um, uh, with a properly made uh, 40106 VZO but it's never gonna be perfect it's never is gonna be as good as a real voltage controlled oscillator um, but in this case it's actually uh, something I really sought out I really wanted instability I really wanted it to drift and to have slight little variations uh, over time because it just it just adds so much. That's, that's, that's the nice thing about analog, is that it has those instabilities, it has those inaccuracies, it has uh, all these little flaws that make the sound very dynamic and uh, make the sound feel alive. And that's really something I 
uh, wanted to emphasize on this. So I really did not bother with any temperature stabilization or anything like that. I just want, I wanted it to be chaotic. And I think I succeeded in that. Um, <laughs> it goes all over the place uh, sometimes, especially with certain set settings. I didn't really find one um, in a demonstration earlier, but uh, it ha does have certain settings, certain combinations of uh, uh, the knob settings that it will just insanely start to drift. It will just just have this endless crescendo of of, of noise. Just, just, just both uh, voices just have this, this pitch that slowly but surely goes up and creates a really cool effect. Um, so yeah, that's uh, anyway. Th that's the main voice controls. These two knobs control the uh, modulation intensity uh, for each voice. So for, so for voice one and voice two. And uh, it's essentially just a, um, a, uh, a variable resistor uh, in a voltage divider, which um, essentially uh, sets the uh, intensity of the uh, control voltage towards the carrier. And well, that's all there's to it. Let's a little peek inside. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's not that much to the circuit. Uh, this is the uh, power supply. It has both um, 12 volt and 5 volt rails. Uh, the 5 volt is for the uh, chip for the 40106, and the 12 volt is for actually for all the uh, the transistors in here because all the um, the modulation stuff, all the control voltages, uh, so all uses transistors. Uh, you can probably just about see them. There are a whole bunch of transistors there. And uh, yeah, uh, here's voice one, and over there is voice two. They just split to each side of the 40106, which is the nice thing of the 40106 is the uh, the pinout. So you have the first three on this side and the um, other three on this side, so um, it's not a thing I really dig about a chip, and mostly it's just a whole bunch of wires in here and uh, and the knobs. Uh, now you might wonder what this originally was. Um, this was some sort of uh, variable ohm meter of sorts. So you can still see the the ohm symbol here. Uh, so a uh, variable resistance meter, uh, I should say. Uh, it was uh, like a um, nice big analog um, meter here. And all these two knobs are original, though this one originally had this really big variable re resistor. Um, it's like, uh, I think about this big uh, behind here. So that pretty much filled up this entire section. So I just replaced it with a standard variable resistor, just a small one, because uh, yeah, that was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and I wanted to use the original construction, you can see the screws here, um, to um, mount the PCBs on. Uh, you can actually see this. You see here the, uh, the headers here, going through the PCBs. These two PCBs, or perf boards I should say really, they are mounted on uh, those headers which are in turn connected to the front panel screws here. And uh, yeah, this is a bit ugly, unfortunately. Uh, it's a bit improvised. Well, I need to find a better solution for this. Maybe a little panel here. Yeah, that would be cool. Like a, like a really retro panel that says uh, maybe sync and free or something. Free running or something. Something cool like that. No, no, no that's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, these knobs are from um, these. No, originally weren't knobs. They were um, banana plug connectors on here, and uh, uh, so uh, yeah. But I replaced them obviously with um, knobs and, and uh, nice golden plated output here. So. Yeah, I don't really know what else to uh, to say about this thing. 
Um, I think I've been talking for long enough actually. <laughs> I think it's uh, almost 10 minutes now. So yeah. Um, again, the schematic uh, you can find in the description below. I'll make a little download link. And if you have any questions on the build of this thing, um, if you want to know more about it, just write a comment below and I'll uh, quickly get back to you. And, uh, yeah. well, on to the next build, I think, which is going to be a uh, drum machine. And uh, it's going to be a really cool drum machine because it's going to be completely analog and it's going to sound sweet. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll make a teaser video of that soon enough. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.